Oh, the judgment in uh, from Edo State High Court. Well, uh, like we've been uh, aware, we learned that there was a judgment today from the Edo State High Court. And, uh, and I was surprised that some person have been celebrating. And I asked myself, what are they celebrating or what is there to be celebrating? Well, you will not really blame the, them for probably celebrating. The, the celebration is born out of ignorance of what is on ground. Now, what happened in those state today, the judgment from those state, is in respect of the suspension of our former national chairman, Vice Julius Abore, by his word as a member of that world. And of course, he being dissatisfied with that suspension of his membership from his ward, ran to the Edo State High Court on the 5th of April to challenge the legality or otherwise of that suspension. And of course, uh, before that, before he ran to court, if you can also recall, the FCT High Court on the 5th of April by 10 a.m. granted a restraining order, restraining him, the National Secretary, the National Organizing Secretary, and the National Treasurer from parading themselves as an office, national officer of the party. You know, that has been on. And by law, once the person has been restrained by court, the person must not do any act in that regard. Paying it to that Send it to when that order of the court is either vacated by that same court or set aside by an appellate court. Now, that continues. Despite that his suspension by the FCT High Court, he called for a next meeting on the 18th in Asaba. And of course, the person suspended can no longer do anything again, but out of illegality, in his they are out of illegality, they call for next meeting, which they have to reach the head in Nasaba on the 8th of April. So, and then the party saw it that, party under the leadership of Alaji Bashir Rapapa saw it that the public might begin to think Labour Party is disobeying order of course, that we must not allow this to continue. And of course, good enough, the party next meeting took place a few days thereafter, that was on the 3rd of May in Baoji, which was widely uh, aired or viewed by many people. And uh, in that next meeting, because of that illegal next meeting they had in Asaba, and the, the next, in a unanimous decision, suspended him again, himself and everyone that participated in that next meeting, apart from the presidential candidate and his running mate, and all other uh, office candidates that won election from the last general election, they were all exempted by NEC. However, apart from those other ones, the other person, including the national chairman, NEC further took a drastic action on them and suspended them. And they constituted the committee, the committee in which the NEC asked them to appear to come and give reason why they should not be expelled from the party. As I speak to you today, that this marriage committee they still are waiting all of them, including the national the former national chairman, to come and appear and give reason why they should not be expelled. Now, that is still on ground. So we have two things on ground. One, the restraining order of the FCT High Court, restraining them is still there. As I speak to you today, by law, by Sagilo Shaburi. Uh, Alaji Umar Farouk, uh, Mr. Clement Ujuku, then Ms. Oluchi, they remain restrained as a result of the FCT High Court. That is one. Then two, the next meeting that took place in uh, Bauchi suspended their membership. So by virtue of these two things, so what happened, that's what I was saying, I did not actually understand why they are celebrating. What happened today was an, a judgment of the court setting aside the decision of his world that suspended him as a member of the world. Unfortunately, even if the, there was no next suspension, 
what happened today suspending him and what happened today by the court the judgment of the court today would have only nearly decided to bring him back what that judgment would have been able to bring him back as a member of the party no not as a chairman because there is a restraining order of the court that is subsisting subsisting restraining him from performing the duty of his office as a national officer so in 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 all the, the the simple explanation of it is that what just happened today in the greater respect is not it, it to me is more like an academic exercise because NEC, which is the highest organ of the party, has further suspended him. So his suspension that was the suspension from his word, which was set aside today, is no longer of any moment. Because he now has it's not like a person having two so two issues to 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 cross or two rivers to cross. He has only succeeded the crossing one and he's celebrating the idea, succeeded the crossing everything. Unfortunately, that is where he is, and that is the reason I say I do not see reason why anybody should be, should be celebrating what transpired in Benin today. There is nothing to celebrate. So I think that is the position. So as it stands today, that judgment has only set aside the, risk, the suspension by its word. The, not the restraining order of FCT High Court. That restraining order still remains. And then the suspension of their suspension by neck still remains. So you can see that the judgment seemed not to even make any difference for him. So he still remains suspended and remains restrained.